Hi, in this video, we will have the chain rule. So this chain rule is a technique in finding the derivative of functions. Okay, what if you are asked to find the derivative of y equals 4x plus 1 quantity squared? What can you do to take the derivative of this function? You can either expand, that is, by multiplying 4x plus 1 by 4x plus 1, and then expand it and simplify and find the derivative of each term. Or, you may also apply the product rule. That is, you express this as a product of 4x plus 1 and itself and then apply the product rule. What if you are asked to find the derivative of 4x plus 1 raised to 10? This time, the exponent is 10. Can you still expand this? Yes, but it's very long. How about the product rule? Yes, it's also very long. So here, in this lesson, we have a technique called the chain rule so that we can answer or we can find the derivative of functions like this. So we will apply the chain rule. So what does this chain rule say? So the derivative of a composition of functions is the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function times the derivative of the inner function. So we have here, we have to emphasize here that in the chain rule, we still have to multiply the derivative of the outer function by the derivative of the inner function. So if you're given with y, then the dy over dx, its derivative can be expressed as this. First, you take the derivative of y with respect to your uh, outer function u and multiply, uh, and multiply by the derivative, I mean the inner function u, and then multiply by the derivative of u with respect to x. So let us have an example so that you can understand further. Okay, find the derivative of y equals 4x plus 1 quantity squared. So this is the given example. So you can uh, expand this and, or you can use the product rule. But this time, let us have uh, the chain rule. So here, you can express 4x plus 1 as u. And then the function y equals 4x plus 1 squared actually is just u squared. And we can apply the power rule there. Okay, so, and then uh, we will get the derivative of y with respect to u here, and then we will get the derivative of u with respect to x here, and then we multiply. So the derivative of u with respect to x is, you just take the derivative of this, that's d over dx, derivative of 4x is 4, and the derivative of 1 is 0, so 4. And then y squared, uh, y equals u squared was the derivative of this with respect to u. It's simply 2u. So dy over dx is dy over du times du dx. So dy du here is 2u. So we write 2u there. And du dx is 4. So we write 4. And then simplify it. So dy dx is... 8u. That's 2u times 4, so that's 8u. And then go back to the original u in terms of x. Our u is 4x plus 1, so 8 times u is 8 times 4x plus 1. That gives us 32x plus 8. So this is the derivative of this function. Or you can, you can just have it as this is squared 2 times 4x plus 1 raised to 1. And then take the derivative of 4x plus 1, so times 4. Let us have another example. So this is the example also shown in the introduction. Find the derivative of y equals 4x plus 1 raised to 10. So you have to take this 4x plus 1 as your u, so this will be u raised to 10. So it's going to be, you apply the power rule, make the exponent the coefficient. So it's going to be 10 times 4x plus 1 raised to 9 times the derivative of 4x plus 1, which is 4. So uh, this is going to be u raised to 10. So uh, the derivative of 4x plus 1 is 
4, and the derivative of u raised to 10 is 10u raised to 9. Applying the power rule, the exponent will be the coefficient, and then you subtract 1 from the exponent, and you'll get 10u raised to 9, and then you use this formula. So you have dy du is 10 uh, u raised to 9 times du dx is 4, so you will have 40 u raised to 9. And then go back to the original u in terms of x, so that's 40 times 4x plus 1 raised to 9. So if we just use the uh, product rule the, here or the expansion, and it will take you uh, a very long time. So in this case, just express it as a uh, power of 9 here, and then uh, that will be the final answer. So no need to expand. Example number three, find the derivative of y e raised to x squared plus three. So our u here is going to be x squared plus three. And then our y is e raised to u. So the derivative of x squared plus three is 2x. So that's 2x plus zero. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of 3 is 0, so 2x plus 0 is 2x. And the derivative of e raised to u is itself. And then uh, you put it here, so you're going to have e raised to u times 2x, or that is 2x e raised to u, and then replace u with uh, x squared plus 3. Then you will get 2x e raised to x squared plus 3. So this is the derivative of this one. Example number 4. Find the derivative of y equals sine 2x cubed. What do you think is our u here? u is 2x cubed. And then our y is sine u. This is sine u. And then the derivative of 2x cubed is 6x squared. And then the derivative of sine u is cosine u. And then you just multiply. So you will have cosine u times 6x squared, or that is 6x squared cosine u, and then go back to the original u. So that is 6x squared times cosine 2x cubed. Because our u is 2x cubed. Another example, find the derivative of y equals cosine raised to 5 x squared. So when you have like this, it's uh, cosine to the exponent uh, 5. So this is the same as cosine x uh, squared raised to uh, 5. So we will apply here the power rule. So we will make our uh, u cosine x squared. And then since uh, it looks like this, we need to apply again the chain rule. So if we will have the chain rule, we'll just uh, have it here. Uh, we have sine of x squared, uh, I mean negative sine of x squared, times the derivative of the inner function x squared, that's 2x. So if you simplify that, that is negative sine, a uh, negative 2x sine of x squared. And the original function here is, is going to be u raised to 5, u raised to 5. So the derivative of u raised to 5 is 5u raised to 4, applying the power rule, and then you multiply them. So you have 5u raised to 4 times negative 2x, sine x squared, and then uh, simplify or put or change u with uh, the original cosine x squared. So it's going to be 5 cosine raised to 4 x squared times negative 2x sine of x squared. And simplify 5 times negative 2, you will have negative 10, copy x. And then cosine raised to 4x squared, copy, and then sine x squared, copy. So this is the final answer.
Last example, example number 6. Find the derivative of y equals 2e raised to negative x. So you have here u is uh, negative x. And then our y is 2e raised to u. So the derivative of negative x is negative 1. The derivative of 2e two a, two a, raised to u is itself. And then you multiply. So 2e raised to u times negative 1. That's negative 2e raised to u. And change u with the original uh, negative x. So negative 2e raised to negative x. So actually, you don't need to write this anymore and this. You can actually just uh, do the shortcut. You just take the derivative of the outer function. That's going to be 2e raised to negative x times the derivative of this exponent here. That's negative 1. So negative 2e raised to negative x. Okay, so that's it for the examples. I hope that you can already answer this. You're already prepared to answer these items. So pause the video if you need to and uh, answer uh, the items. So you answer on your uh, paper or on your notebook and uh, pause the video and find out if uh, you'll get the correct answer. Okay, let's check. For number 1, that's going to be 21 times 3x minus 1 raised to 6 because this is going to be 7 times 3x raised to uh, 3x minus 1 raised to 6 times 3. So that's why 21. Number 2, we'll have 4 times 4 plus 2x raised to 3 times 2. That's why we have here 8. And the number 3, uh, derivative of sine is cosine. So cosine of 6x minus 2. But you still have the multi to multiply the uh, derivative of the inner function, which is 6. That's why we have a 6 here. And the number 4, negative e raised to cosine x sine x. The derivative of this is itself, but this is not simply x, the exponent. So you have to multiply the derivative of cosine x. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. That's why you have your negative e raised to cosine x times sine x. Number five, we have uh, the derivative of sine is cosine. So cosine, copy the angle. But then it's uh, e raised to 5x. So th take the derivative of this. You need to apply the chain rule again. So you will have e times e raised to 5x times the derivative of the exponent, which is 5. So you will have 5 e raised to 5x times cosine e raised to 5x. Number 6, the derivative of tangent squared x is 2 tan x secant squared x. Because you're going to apply here the power rule, 2 times tangent x times the derivative of tangent x, which is secant squared x. So 2 tangent x secant squared x. So that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe Fatma TV and comment down below if you have some difficulties or you have some uh, special items related to this or if you got the correct answer. Or if you want to have more examples, just comment on the comment section and continue supporting this channel. So that's it for now. Bye!